On this episode, Lamborghini goes green. And we have specs on the 2016 Mazda Miata drivetrain. Good news, it's not gonna suck. I'm Yo Jackson, this is Driving Sports Extra. Since we don't have a sponsor this week, let's just say this episode is brought to you by the kick-ass Driving Sports TV apps for Android, iOS, and Roku players. Best part, they're free. Now on to the news. If you thought hybrids were just for hippies and tree huggers, Lamborghini has something that might just change your mind. This is the Lamborghini Asterion, the first ever plug-in hybrid Italian supercar. The 910 horsepower concept offers a 5.2 naturally aspirated V10 pushing at 610 horsepower to the rear wheels. Plus, it also has two front axle based electric motors good for an additional 300 horses. See how the math works? 610 plus 300? This combination isn't just for power, it also provides the car with all-wheel drive traction and torque vectoring. In full electric mode, the Asterion will drive for 50 kilometers or about 30 miles in American, which isn't much. But when a car looks that good, who cares? Okay, I made a mistake, and I'm big enough of a man to admit it. This is not the new CRV. This one is. Offering 11% more torque than the outgoing model, the popular crossover SUV will come with a CVT transmission, improved braking system, and fuel efficiency enhancements. Yeah, it's still got the Earth Dreams engine. Ugh. And yeah, this new CRV is already available at dealerships now. Why are we covering it? I, I don't know, it's a popular car. I thought somebody might care. Meanwhile, in Paris, we finally have details on the 2016 Mazda MX-5 Miata's power plant. Mazda told us at the Paris Auto Show that the US version of the new Miata will be offered with a 2 liter Skyactiv G, while the rest of the world gets a 1.5 liter version. Why do we get a bigger engine? Because America. Mazda is still holding the cards on exactly how much power the domestic Miata will be putting down, but it's not hard to figure out. The 2014 Mazda 3 also has a 2 liter Skyactiv G, and that car is good for 155 horsepower. So it's probably safe to say that this new car will put out 155 or more which will rock because the car is incredibly light. Tune in next week when we find out the tire pressures on the new 2016 Miata. Seriously, don't you think Mazda's milking this just a little too much? An Audi TT that seats four comfortably? Sounds crazy, right? Well, the engineers at Audi have created such a beast. It's called the TT Sportback concept. This sleek five-door features a high-strung turbocharged two-liter engine throwing down 400 ponies. Hey, that's 100 horsepower per cylinder. Cool. The Sportback will also come with a 7-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch transmission connected to Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system. Audi also confirmed it will offer an all-electric e-tron model of its R8 supercar. No, it's not powered by Tony Stark's arc reactor. Moving on. Peugeot released its Quartz concept car and should probably kill it with fire. Next. In 2012, Audi bought superbike maker Ducati. It was only a matter of time before someone thought, hey, we should put a Ducati motor into a car. Well, it's finally happened. This is the Volkswagen XL Sport. Based on the Volkswagen XL1 high mileage eco supercar, but with a twist of insanity. It features the two cylinder Ducati Superleggera V-twin engine. It revs to 11,000 RPM, 11,000. It also comes with 197 horsepower and is said to offer incredible track performance. The bike meets car concept will also offer a seven speed DSG dual clutch automatic gearbox a carbon fiber reinforced polymer construction, and a top speed of 167 miles an hour. Oh, and Volkswagen released its TriStar, a van truck that looks hilarious. Just wanted to point that out. That's it for this episode of Driving Sports Extra. I'm Yaro Jax. We'll see you again on Tuesday next week. Thanks for watching, and be sure to post your comments and rate this episode. Lates.